Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the month love readings for all zodiac signs. Um, I do want to uh, wish you guys a very happy Hallow's Eve, happy Halloween. Um, highly encourage you guys to be safe out there, but also try to enjoy yourselves, okay? Uh, let's get into your reading. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you guys are interested in private consultations, definitely look at the description box below. And um, I want to give a big shout out to you Libras out there. Uh, this month, the way I'm uploading the videos is the videos that get the most views or the most comments. Those are the first videos that are being uploaded, okay? So I definitely encourage you guys to comment, uh, share, and uh, like the videos. So let's get into your reading, Libra. So let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the mid-month of October 2017 regarding your love life. So I'm going to be pulling out cards for you and then pulling out cards that represent how your partner is viewing the situation and the relationship. So let's get into your reading. That's for you. That's for you. That's for the mid-month of October. Oh, all right. We got three cards popping out for you, Libras. You have the Ace of Swords, the Tower, the Queen of Cups. So I get one more card for Libra. Oh, there you go. Oh, okay. All right, so I guess it's going to be five cards for you, Libra. <laughs> so you have the Ace of Swords, the Tower, the Queen of Cups, the Three of Swords, and the Page of Cups. So let me pull out the cards for your partner and how they're viewing your relationship at the present time. Uh, if you guys are currently single, this could be the person that's coming towards you for the mid-month of October 2017. All right. They have the King of Swords, the Two of Wands, the Fool card, the Ten of Wands, and the Four, the Four of Wands. All right, let me pull out one more card. Oh, never mind. It pulled itself out. This is your current situation, Libras, okay? So you have the Five of Swords. There's definitely a lot of anger, animosity going on with you guys, whether it's in uh, relationships. Uh, if you've been in a long-term uh, commitment a long-term relationship. Uh, the Five of Swords definitely talks about a lot of animosity going on, um, kind of having petty arguments or uh, it, this goes, there's an underlining um, with this card where I'm sensing a lot of frustration and that's the reason why you guys are spazzing out to people or even your partner. It's like it, it has, it could be absolutely nothing to do with your partner, but you're just taking it out on them at the present time because you're so frustrated or mentally drained. The five of swords can also represent, um, uh, you know, getting into arguments where you hold on to that anger um, without having any right. Uh, this, this is a general reading. So this could represent your energies or your partner's energies. But again, with the five of swords, there's definitely a discord going on here. Uh, you guys are definitely very in balance for the mid month of October. Now, the cards that are being represented by you, um, you have here the Ace of uh, Swords, the Tower, and the Queen of Cups, okay? So there is definitely some type of confrontation. There is definitely some type of conference, uh, confrontation or some truth coming out uh, that kind of shattered you guys' world. So this could represent, the Queen of Cups can represent the water sign. So water sign would be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Uh, it doesn't have to be a water sign. It could just take on the qualities of the Queen of Cups. And usually the Queen of Cups is a mother type of uh, mother figure type of energy. This could be an aunt. This could be someone uh, very close to the family or the family dynamic. And this Ace of Swords, there is a need for truthfulness. Um, this can also represent a partner or a relative, I should say, a relative of your partner that's kind of bringing a lot of chaos or chaotic type of energy to your life. Um, that it's getting to the point where the five of swords is being represented as a lot of arguments or some type of eruption of an argument where it kind of put a string on your relationship. Now, for others of you, it can also represent, um, the tower is definitely a negative type of energy, but it has a lot to do with the cards surrounding it. And because the queen of cups in general is not a negative card and the ace of uh, sorts is not a negative card. 
this is basically the lies coming out. Lies coming out. Um, and it has to do, again, this Ace of Swords is here being represented. This is how you're viewing the situation. So perhaps you got clarity in regards to a relationship. Um, maybe you got news from a partner uh, that was creeping, a partner that was lying or cheating to you, or it could be vice versa. It could be that you were the one that was cheating on your partner, and this finally came out to light. And the reason I say that is because you do have the Three of Swords here. And the Three of Swords is, I mean, obviously, it's a third-party type of energy, but it can also represent heartache, uh, hardships, uh, heartache, and betrayal. And it's right next to the Queen of Cups. So for some of you guys, it could be that your partner found out that you were cheating, or it could be that you found out your partner was cheating with a water sign. Um, and again, the Three of Swords here is being represented as this is something that you're carrying, the burden that you're carrying or you're going through at the present time. Uh, emotional roller coasters, what's going on from, the, from what I'm seeing here. Now, the Page of Cups here can be a representation because if you can see here, the Page of Cups is looking towards this Three of Swords. So there's some type of heartache, some type of um, hurt that you're still carrying on from past. It could be a past relationship that you were in. Uh, it could be that you recently found out that you were cheated on or you recently were, ca were called out that you were cheating on your partner. Um, but you're kind of seeing this on, on a deeper level. You're, you're trying, to, trying to understand the circumstances and it seems almost as if you are feeling guilty or you're feeling like you deserve this, uh, perhaps because you probably did someone wrong in the past. And the reason I say that again is because the page of cups here is looking towards this three of swords. Like uh, this is pain, betrayal, hurt, but you're it, the page is still a positive card. So there is positiveness behind it, almost like a lesson to learn um, where you're looking at it almost in an introspective type of way and also coming to the realization that perhaps this is something that um, could have been avoided as well, okay? So it's kind of like that energy of, you know, someone in the family, when you start bringing your partner around, someone in the family always has something bad to say about them. And then shit hits the fan and you find out, damn, they were right the whole time. That type of energy with this three and this page of cups here. Now, how your partner's viewing the situation is they're, uh, this is the king of swords here and this is your energy. So they see you very distant. They see you as perhaps they don't feel that you're emotionally fulfilling them anymore um, because you're very standoffish or there, there's something going on that underlies with this three of swords for some of you guys it doesn't necessarily have to mean a betrayal it can actually be the loss of a mother or um the loss of someone that was in the family dynamic where you are fine and then the next day there's this you completely go into this numbness type of zone where your partner at this point is frustrated at this point it's like they're speaking to a wall. They're trying to communicate or they're trying to uh, tell you how they're feeling or ask you what's going on with you. And it's like you're shutting them off almost. So at this present time, they see the two of wands here. The two of wands is a representation of partnerships. But I feel more so that your partner is looking towards a different partnership. The reason I say that is because the full card is here and the full card can represent you know, being, uh, there's a newness here, spontaneity, but I don't feel that the full, that's not the energy the full is giving to me. The full is they're being foolish. Um, it could be that they step out of the relationship based on the fact that they don't feel fulfilled anymore. Um, and again, it could, they could be dealing with a fire sign because I do see a lot of fire cards in their, in their cards. So again, a uh, fire sign would be a Sagittarius, a Leo, or an Aries. Now I see them going with this full towards this 10 of wands. So there's definitely animosity or frustration here, uh, feeling like they didn't sign up for this. So it could be that you were dating a person for quite a while now. Um, and perhaps you have a lot of, uh, you know, feelings, uh, suppressed feelings or emotions about someone from the past, whether it was a partner, whether it was actually a physical death of someone, um, that you're still trying to cope with at the present time. But at this time, they're not wanting to put up with that anymore, your partner. 
they're either not understanding you or they're just frustrated at the fact that you're not being able to emotionally connect with them. And that's the reason why the 10 of so I, I mean, the 10 of wands is here. The 10 of wands is a feeling of stress, a feeling of being burdened, but it's almost like this is the energy that they feel towards you. Like you're becoming a burden or you're becoming something that they have to take care of. And finally, the four of wands is here. Now, for some of you guys, what this could represent is the fact that they're moving on from you guys going towards this fire sign. And perhaps for a lot of you guys, probably the beginning of the month of September, I mean, sorry, November, I don't know why I said September, um, November, you guys actually find out that they move in with the person that either they were cheating on you with or the person that they always denied having anything to do with them. And then you guys break up and boom, they end up being with that person. So again, I feel that, uh, I feel that there is this, there's this feeling with this, with this tower here, something unexpected is definitely going to, it's going to happen. And it's not in a negative way. Uh, you may perceive it as negative in, initially, uh, but it's not really, it's not really negative. It's just universe trying to break down those barriers that you carry or that you put up those walls. And you're going to have to come to the understanding that when you protect yourself so much from, you know, becoming vulnerable to people or opening up to how they really feel, you're not yeah, you may risk the fact that they may take that for granted, but also if you don't show those type of emotions, you're the one that's taking the other person for granted. And what happens is, again, uh, people don't want to, you know, they don't want to feel like they have to be reading your mind 24-7. Um, they don't want to feel like uh, they're the only ones that are emotionally invested in this relationship. So, in, in the final outcome, what I'm trying to say is ultimately when it comes to relationships, Libra, you need to understand that you need to become vulnerable in order for you and your partner to relate and connect on a deeper level. And if you're not able to do that, then know and understand that you run the risk of actually losing this person. Okay. So I hope this resonates with you guys. Comment, like, and share my videos. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel and we will see each other at uh, the beginning of November.